Hey guys, welcome back to another installment of Yesterday I Asked You, where yesterday I asked you to leave a question for my 2,000 subscriber Q&A video. And oh boy, did, did you guys leave some questions. You left so many questions that I gotta, gotta use this uh, this crazy new setup here, just, just so you know I can sit next to my computer and read them all. It's probably gonna be a really long video as it is, so, so let, let, let's just jump into it. Jojo asks if I would ever sell Phoenix. I don't think so, at least not in the foreseeable future. I know I could probably get a hefty sum from any of these these volumes, but you know, I just take such pride having this in my collection. Now, he also asks me a second question. This is somewhat of a, a running theme I noticed. Clearly in the last video I stated that I only really wanted people to ask one question or else the video would be too long. But here we here we have someone asking, uh, asking a second question. Interesting. I see how it is. I'm not a dick though. I'll stick to my word. I'll answer everything. He also wants to know my opinion on the second arc in the Promised Neverland. And that is an arc that I did not finish because I got so bored I dropped the series. Fret not though, okay? I know a lot of people were a bit triggered with me placing A Promise Neverland so low on my list. And I have been hearing that it's been getting really, really good recently, so I think I am very soon going to give the series another chance. Because I did really like the first arc, and then while the second arc really let me down, I do have hope that it will pick back up again. Uh, Apollo? Apollo, you're not, you're not making things better with your question. What the fuck is this? I, like, I could make an entire new video on this. What is this garbage? Your five favorite mangaka, your favorite work from them, and why they're your favorite. Are you, are you serious? Shinobu Otaka, Magi, it's, 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 it's a great series. Hiromu Arakawa, Full Metal Alchemist, again, a fantastic series. Naoki Urasawa, and Pluto. Now, Pluto is the only work I've read from him, but it's absolutely fantastic. I love it to death. Inio Asano with Goodnight Pun Pun. Well, one of my, my all-time favorite series. It's such, such a beautiful piece of art. I mean, Makoto Yukimura with Vinland Saga, because because he, he, you know how it is. The man, Manga Mafia, who, who put me on his very own top manga YouTubers list, wants me to know which manga I would like adapted into a movie directed by Quentin Tarantino. Honestly, first thing that comes to mind, Golden Kamui. From what I've seen, Tarantino can pull off historical settings pretty well. You know, the series, we, we got lots of excessive violence. I, I think it would be a pretty cool Fit. Neptune wants to know the age-old question, Made in Abyss or Berserk? <coughs> yeah, yeah, miss me with that edgy shonen shit. This is, this is where we are. If you haven't checked out Made in Abyss yet, highly recommend it. T-Dog wants to know when I will be making my Ultra Instinct rap debut. Guys, I, I didn't think I would ever be confessing this, but because I've been called out on it, I, I guess I should say something. I am actually for Neverworld's Ghost Singer. Um, after going public with this, he's probably never going to want to work with me again. But, you, you know, it, it was just sitting on my conscience. I, I really had to let you guys know about it. Tuna Sub wants to know what other Osamu Tezuka manga I plan on reviewing. Well, so far, I do own volumes of Blackjack and Buddha, so, so I do plan to get around to those probably this year. Other than that, I've always been interested in Message to Adolf, uh, among a few others. Uh, I know a lot of his works are pretty short short, you know, easy to easy to read and review. So who knows, maybe in time I'll, I'll get around to reviewing uh, many of his other works. Phoenix is the only thing I've read from him and it was so fantastic. I'm really, really looking forward to reading more. Roy wants to know what my favorite Pokemon game is and, and I'll give that to uh, Pokemon Soul Silver. For me, the second generation of Pokemon is when the series really became great. They had, they had so much new shit. Two whole regions to explore. It was, it was so fantastic. My favorite Pokemon ever, Espeon, comes from this generation. But with the re makes, they added even more shit. They, uh, they updated everything, it was all fantastic. And while Gen 5 did come close, I still don't think there has been a Pokemon game since that I've enjoyed as much as this one. David wants to know where I get my, uh, my sexy bookshelves. Uh, I, I don't think I'd be able to really answer that. Uh, I'm like, hey mom, uh, here's here's some money. Can next time you go out, can you uh, can you pick up some bookshelves for me? And yeah, I don't know. I don't know. IKEA maybe they they sell bookshelves. I I think Walmart, Amazon. I don't know. I I, I don't shop. Lumenity wants to know uh, if I've read Pandora Hearts, which I haven't. I I really don't know anything about it. Although I have been getting some recommendations for it, so maybe it's worth checking out at some point. They also want to know who my favorite Moggy characters are, and man, I have so many because Moggy has just such a fantastic cast of characters. Alibaba's probably 
definitely my favorite overall. I also really love Sinbad and Kogyoku. I'm really hoping that the characters in Orient can live up to the, the ones in Magi. Sure, Bagan wants to know what type of uh, grape I prefer. That definitely the red ones. The, the green ones are absolutely disgusting. I don't know how anyone can, can even put those in their mouths. Isabella wants to know if anything has changed since last year. This is a, a, a bit of a vague question. So in terms of this channel, not much has changed. Obviously, we, we've grown a significant amount in the past year, but the, the types of videos I've been making have been relatively the same. However, the big thing that changed in my life has been college. You know, the, the previous year, in 2016, 2017, I was taking courses from home, but this whole past year, you know, I've been in the lab working on stuff. And I have been able to apply some of those skills to my video making, you know, may make some of the production, you know, a, a bit better. I've been applying a lot more graphic stuff to my videos, you know, with the uh, the Manga Alert podcast, with uh, my, of course, collection video, my top 50 video. So, so yeah, th things have been pretty crazy in this past year. But overall, I'm, I'm enjoying how things are going, and I am excited for the future. On that topic, Zegzeg wants to know what I'm majoring in. Just, you know, last time I mentioned how I was drawing grass textures all day. I don't actually draw grass textures all day. Okay, I'm working towards a diploma in video game art and design, and the program I'm taking encompasses uh, uh, many, many different aspects of the video game industry. 2D, 3D art, storytelling, level design, animation, it pretty much covers nearly everything. Alan wants to know if there are any film adaptations of manga that actually surpass the manga itself. I really don't have an answer for that. I, I haven't seen Old Boy. I, I do hear it's pretty good though, so maybe I'll check that out someday. Nearly every film adaptation of a manga I have seen has been absolute dog shit. Probably the closest, and I don't really know if it counts as a manga adaptation, but I would say Edge of Tomorrow is pretty great. It might not be better than All You Need Is Kill, but I, I definitely say it's about the same level of quality. Nathan wants to know which anime I, I feel stays the closest to its source material. Excluding My Hero Academia, which is a very, very good example. And the more I thought about it, I'm like, man, there aren't very many anime that are like one-to-one -one with the manga. Even like some of the best adaptations like Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, you know, they, they change some stuff around. But the one I chose is Death Note. This is one of the very, very few series where I can say the anime and manga are pretty much interchangeable with how similar they are. I really don't think you're missing out on anything that this story has to offer by just sticking to the anime. Longtime viewer Roy Senpai uh, well, wants to know what advantages I think manga has to, to other forms of art, which is a bit of an interesting question because he brings up how manga lacks a lot of the elements that, that other art may have. And you know, this kind of stumped me. You know, I'm not a manga only guy. I, I branch out. I, I enjoy all, all types of different art. One thing that does stand out a lot though is, is the release schedule of a lot of manga. Usually the length of time you have to wait for more material of manga is drastically shorter than say American comics. While there's many short manga series, a lot of them are, are, are significantly longer than most American comics as well. When you have a super long running American comic, it, it normally like shifts through multiple different artists and writers. But you know with manga I can be like, okay, Here's One Piece, it's been running since 1997, it has fucking 90 volumes, it was all written and drawn by one person. That's just something you don't you don't see very often in other forms of art. So Dan here he re really goes in. He has the audacity to suggest that adding a few more chapters at the end of the prologue would have made it better. I say nay, this is perfect. Vinland Saga is a masterpiece. There's nothing you can do to make it any better. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just kidding, but, but I really don't see what, what else he could have added at that point. Without getting into spoilers, I mean, maybe there, there could have been a, a few more chapters of Thorfinn, you know, you know, just showing him get to where he is at the start of the next arc. But I also don't feel like any of that was really necessary. Now, I'm assuming that's the time skip you're talking about because, you know, they, they like walk everywhere, so... So, so there's quite a few of them. Silly Billy wants to know if there's any manga that I'd like to see drawn by, by another mangaka. I think it would be really cool to see uh, Kentaro Mura's take on Magi. You know, that sounds a bit weird. And uh, I love Shinobu Otaka as an artist. She, she's a fantastic artist. But, you know, so many crazy, epic, magical, f fantastical things happen in Magi, as well as Berserk, and they look so stunning in Berserk. I just really love to see, like, Mura take on some of this stuff with his, you know, cr crazy amount of detail. SSJ Calcal has a question that, that uh, I've been asked many, many times in the past, in the past three years. Will I ever own or read Vagabond? And the answer may surprise you. Evergreen Gamer wants to know what, what my favorite uh, current Shonen Jump title is. Well, I can tell you what it's not. Noah's Notes. 
Well, the piece of shit can't fucking wait for it to be canceled. Oh my god. Now, I'm not all that familiar with Shonen Jump's current lineup. I, I have read a, read a handful of the series, though. I'm only up to date on two of them. But I can easily say without a doubt in my mind that out of all of those series, My Hero Academia is the best. Ethan wants to know what my favorite volume cover of Magi is. This one right here, baby. Volume 27. I've shown this off in my videos before, but guys, it's, it's so stunning. I love it. Nikolai wants to know what uh, some of my favorite indie games are. Terraria is probably the game that I have uh, put the most amount of time into in my life. It's been forever since I've played it last, but across PC and console, I have played so much fucking Terraria. It's an absolutely fantastic game and I love it. I also love Super Meat Boy, its spiritual successor, The End Is Nigh. That was my favorite game of last year. On that note, you know I'm a huge Isaac fan. I, I kinda suck at it. I don't think I've ever beaten, you know, like the final final area, but, uh, but I still love it to death. Another one of my all-time favorites is Spelunky, another game that I've sunk hundreds of hours into. And and most recently, fucking Celeste. This game has honestly become one of my favorites of all time. It's so fantastic. I love it so much. Cam wants to know uh, if I had to read either Fairy Tale or The Seven Deadly Sins for the rest of my life. Which series would I choose? I'd probably go with Seven Deadly Sins, even though I didn't like the, the five volumes that I've read. Of course, I've only read five volumes. And while I have zero interest in uh, in continuing reading, I do have confidence that the rest of the series is most likely significantly better than Fairy Tale. So for that reason, I will have to be uh, siding with Mr. Nobuhiro over here. Well, Music wants to know if the, there's any uh, big collabs or, or podcasts going on soon. I don't know, man. The, the community's pretty dead at this this point. I mean, I mean, Taz is gone. Apollo quit. Seriously, like, who's he, who's even left? I Insidious Swede? Oh, wait, he's dead, too. Sorry, man, I guess you're out of luck. Uh, J Justin wants to know the, the question that, that I've, I've been dying to answer for, for many years now. Which manga co would I fuck? It's obviously Hirohiko Araki. I mean, the, the dude has infinite youth. And legends say that if you sleep with this man, if you caress his flamboyant bosom, then you too will be granted the gift of immortality. Nixie wants to know uh, what kind of music I like. Now, I'm a simple man, okay? I only, I only like three kinds of music. English covers of anime openings. Yeah. Ultra Instinct raps. I do more than just when I tell you that you don't want it with double four and dash. And, of course, gorillas. He also wants to know what I think about web comics. I don't read very many web comics. Uh, I went through a huge cyanide and happiness phase a few years ago where I binged yeah, every every single one that, that had ever come out. So I do enjoy that a good bit. Remember when Diary of a Wimpy Kid was a web comic? Well, I do. The, 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 those were the days. Holy shit. But Made in the Abyss is a web comic? The, the, there you go. I'm also pretty sure One Punch Man was a web comic as well. So, 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 so yes, yeah, so some good shit ha has come from the medium, but also some pretty terrible garbage and, and the significant amount of the run-ins I've had with webcomics ha have been awful. So it's a, it's a really a hit or miss platform for me. Packy, Pocky, I'm sorry, I don't really know how to pronounce your name, but they want to know uh, what, is the, what is the biggest thing I have ever done in Minecraft? Now that's pretty perfect timing because because as I sat down to record this video, I was just finishing up my newest and biggest creation, based. What the fuck is this? Five questions. No fucking wonder you haven't uploaded the video in months. Where in my video did, did I say this was okay? I said one question, okay? A few people gave two. I'm like, oh, okay, okay, fine. Then, you know, pad out the video. You get some more ad, ad revenue in there. But this is absurd, okay? You need to calm the fuck down. It's all that black clover garbage poisoning your mind. <laughs> Alright, so his first question is he wants to know uh, what, what I emphasize when I read manga. The story, the art, whether it's out of print or not. I, I'm sorry, do, do, do I look like a cock? But you know, when, I, when it comes to manga, when I look at manga critically, the thing I take into account above all else is the story. The art could be really good, but if the story's not all that, then, then, then you might lose me. There are multiple series where, you know, I would consider them a 10 out of 10, but, you know, the art might not be all that amazing. You know, well, not every manga artist is, a, is as skilled as Inoue or Miura, but I don't think they have to be. As long as it's not, not some ugly shit, then I can really look past average art if the, the story is fantastic. Anyway, his next question brings up Attack on Titan, One Punch Man, and My Hero Academia. And he, he, he wants to know if I agree that, that these three series seem to be the current most popular mainstream manga in the West. And in terms of, you know, current ongoing stuff, 
Yeah, 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 I'd say so. Because, you know, you have Naruto, Bleach, Dragon Ball, though those are all over. One Piece has never really been as big in the West as it is in Japan. I also think Tokyo Ghoul is pretty popular here, but, but of course that just ended, so yeah. Next question is, if I'm currently happy with the titles in Shonen Jump. Listen, man, I'm not going to rest. I'm not going to be happy at all until Noah and his fucking shitty ass notes get the fuck out of that magazine. I also want to know which manga has been the biggest surprise so far in 2018. Uh, now this this question can mean a lot of things uh, so I'll just say the manga that I, I've read this year. Definitely Made in the Abyss. I really was not expecting this series to be as good as I thought it ended up being. I just really really wish that the releases were more frequent. And his final question and the final question of this video is if I believe there should be more one-shots in general. Just, you know, single chapter, new stories, new ideas from different artists. And honestly, I don't keep up to date with one-shots. I don't really know what, you know, what goes on all the time there. But I say, yeah, why not? You, you got a bunch of new talented artists that they want to bring new ideas to the world. Bring it on, you know, what's, what's the worst that can happen? Worst case scenario fades into obscurity. They can try again. Best case scenario, we, we get a great new franchise from it. There, there we go, everyone. That was the Q&A. Thank you to everyone who participated, asked the question. Sorry it took so long to come out guys, I've been very busy, you know, with some personal stuff going on. But I'm also busy with a few other things. Um, things that I don't want to want to talk about right now, but hopefully at some point I will be able to share these things with you. So until then, thank you all so much for watching. This camera's crooked, I'm just realizing that. Fuck. With all that being said, thank you all so much for watching, and oh shit, you you also want to know who won the uh, the review contest. It was Flowers of Evil, uh, which, which was a bit surprising. It's not a series that gets recommended to me very often, but I am a bit familiar with this mangaka's work, having read a, a bit of happiness and greatly enjoying it, so I, I, I am excited and looking forward to this. So you can expect the review of this to come out after my review of Bleach, which will hopefully be soon. I honestly haven't been making very good progress on Bleach, but I, I really, really got to step that up. So yeah, with all that out of the way for real, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you once again for helping me reach this awesome milestone, and I will see you all in the next video. You ain't ready for this flow, hope you knew that. I've been making lots of dough on the two band. I do a whole lot more than reviews and When the homie double hit me for that new rap, I was rocking stages at these cons, just relentless, never let up.